Oh, wow. Okay. Lots of blue buttons washing in. And the famous storm snail. And it's got a purple color to it and a crazy looking raft. Awesome. Let's talk about it. Some people call it the sea snail. It's a purple, real thin snail. But what makes it different than other snails you might find, especially at the beach, is that it's got a raft of bubbles. And these bubbles allow it to float at the surface where its food source is. And the food source is man war It's uh, hydrozoans like uh, the by the wind sailor, the blue button, it feeds on them. And uh, the other interesting thing about these is, is that it has purple liquid that can come out. It's like an ink. Look at my thumb there. So my thumb actually, uh, when I picked it up, it started squirting ink on me. And that's from the mana wars. So uh, as it eats the mana wars, it has this uh, purple ink that it can store. And if uh, it feels like it's being threatened, it can release that. And I don't feel anything from it, so I'm guessing it doesn't sting. I wouldn't want to get it in my eyes or anything like that. But this raft uh, is vital to this snail surviving. So as it grows, when it's younger, it grows this raft. And if it loses that raft, it will sink all the way to the bottom of the ocean and it'll die. So it has to have these bubbles to survive uh, because that's where its food source is. And it's paper thin. So I actually picked one up earlier and I just barely squeezed it. And the animal wasn't in it. It was. It was had already been broken. So when I squeezed it, it just broke the entire shell. So that tells you if you can break a shell with your fingers, it's super lightweight. But that lightweightness um, really helps it to float. Because if the shell was real heavy, it would be sinking it down. Now these actually float upside down. So how I have it right here. I have it with the raft on top and the shells on the bottom because that's actually how it floats out in the environment. Uh, another thing is, is that the top side of it, which if I turned it over, this would be the top side. The top side is actually uh, lighter in color of purple and the bottom is darker purple. And they do that for a reason. Because it floats upside down, it wants it to be light on the side that's going down into the water so that when fish and stuff look up, it looks more like um, the brightness of the sunshine. And then on the top, for birds and stuff that might be wanting to feed on it, it's darker in color. And so it makes it harder for birds to be able to see it uh, whenever it's, and fish, uh, whenever it's down, uh, uh, looking down, from, uh, looking, when they're looking down into the ocean. Um, uh, the scientific name, Janintha Janintha, which I think is interesting because the, some of these other organisms that you find have some funny names too, uh, like the blue button, Porpita Porpita, you know, uh, the by the wind sailor, Valella Valella, you know, you got these uh, names that the first genus name is the same as a species name. So genus, species are, is how scientists label different organisms. But a uh, very cool animal. Thought y'all would want to see it close up. Um, but that is the purple storm snail. So uh, how you would find these, if you see a bunch of blue buttons washing up, which is what we're seeing right now, uh, there's also some man wars washing up and by the wind sailors. Those, that three combination right there of those washing up, that's when you're gonna find these. And so I'm gonna put it in water here. We'll see it float around. But uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to put it back in the ocean. But y'all know how the ocean works. It likes to push stuff back up on the shoreline. One other cool thing about the storm snail is that when it is born, it is a male. As it gets older, it turns to female. The eggs are laid on the raft. So sometimes you'll find a, 
a bubble raft that is washed up without the snail on it and it's got these little bitty egg looking things on it that are a little darker they can be bright pink uh purple it once they wash up and you find the bubble and it's in the sun for too long it starts turning really dark um, but that is the the eggs for the storm snail okay with that that's everything i know about the storm snail uh, we'll talk to you on the next beachcombing episode talk to you later bye